One night, Percy was at the repair yard. A few days ago, he fell into a big hole in the middle of the track. The damage was quite serious. It would take a long time to fix it, and because Percy was being repaired, Joshua and Thomas had to carry all his mail train all night. And the fight controller had already asked someone to help pull the mail train too. Come on, Daisy, called her driver. We must leave to bring the mail train immediately. But Daisy didn't want to. No, said Daisy. You should do, Daisy, the driver said again. The fight controller has asked Thomas and Joshua to pull the mail train, but they are still not enough. So he wants you to help the two of them. No! Daisy snapped. If I say no, then it means no! Right then, said her driver irritably. If the fight controller finds out about this, don't blame me. On the way, Daisy saw Joshua with his mail train. Joshua looked tired and almost fell asleep. Then Daisy honked her horn loudly. Ah! Joshua was shocked and immediately ran away from the station platform. Stop! shouted Joshua's driver. The mail has no still not been unloaded. Everett blew his whistle. As loud as he could, Joshua stopped right before he left the station. But the mail train felt angry because all the letters were flying everywhere. Joshua felt very embarrassed. In the morning, Joshua entered the sheds, feeling very embarrassed. Doc felt confused. What's wrong with him? He asked. Edward told Doc what just happened last night. When Edward finished telling the story, Daisy passed the two engine. The two engine looked at Daisy. Daisy felt annoyed. What are you looking at? Daisy asked. We were talking about you playing tricks on Joshua, answered Doc. Why did you do that to him? That's the what, huh? said Daisy. That's what he got for insulting my makeup and saying my face looked like a ghost. And weren't you supposed to help Joshua and Thomas carry the mail train? Edward asked. I don't want to, replied Daisy arrogantly. I'm not fit to pull a freight train. And why don't you take the mail train, you green parrot? Daisy said to Duck. I have two things for you, said Duck. Firstly, don't call me like that. Secondly, mind your own business. If the fat controller asks you to carry the mail train, then you should be the one carrying it, and not me. And one more thing, said Edward. You should apologize to Joshua immediately. Joshua has tried to apologize to you, and he also promised not to insult other engines' disgrace again. Oh, I don't care at all said Daisy. Duck felt like he was almost losing his patience. Just ignore her, Edward said to Duck, and pay no attention. Meanwhile, Joshua's driver went to visit Joshua in the sheds. Hello, Joshua, called his driver. Feel better now? Yeah, a little, Joshua answered. I have something to tell you, said his driver. Today, Toby is at the repair yard. To have his cypress repaired. And you know what that means? That means you can carry Toby's passengers while he was at the repair yard. Joshua felt very happy and excited. Daisy heard everything that Joshua's driver said. Joshua arrived at the Farquhar station with the coaches he found in the yard next to the Wellsburg. When he arrived to the station, he was surprised because there was no passengers on the platform. Sorry, young Joshua, said the station master, but Daisy had already brought all the passengers. Then Joshua saw Daisy. Daisy started to laugh. Goodbye, little Daisy, said Daisy. Joshua felt sad. He had never carried a passenger before, and now Daisy was stealing his first passengers. Don't worry, Joshua, said his driver. We're going to teach that diesel railcar lesson. But how? Joshua asked. You'll see later. That night, Joshua arrived with an empty mail train. There he saw Daisy sleeping in the shed. Joshua moved slowly and quietly attached the mail train to Daisy. After he connected, Joshua moved back slowly and blew his whistle. Wake up, Daisy, called Joshua. The fat controller asked you to come to the Nafford Harbor. He had a special special for you. A special special? 
thank you, yawned Daisy. What's a thank you, thank you? That's, um, uh, that is a special passengers coming from another country. Ooh, a VIP, Daisy said excitedly. That's fantastic. Then Daisy immediately went to the Nafa Harbor and she didn't realize that there was a mail car behind her. Joshua and his driver felt happy. Their plan was successful. Early in the morning, Joshua was talking to Edward when they both saw Daisy, who was so dirty and messy. Ah! shouted Joshua. Daisy, stop front! said Daisy angrily. Hey, what's wrong with you? Edward asked. So, you know, <laughs> Daisy answered. Last night, someone put a mail train behind me on purpose and made me deliver letters all night. Uh, I'm sure it won't be that bad, Edward said. No, not at all, Daisy said. I had to wait all night waiting for the letters to arrive. Then, suddenly, a great group of large vocal containing smelly fish and it landed right on top of me. Now look what happened to my makeup. Oh! Joshua wanted to laugh, but he tried to hold it. That night, the fact controller arrived with the news. Henry could to work tonight. The dirty water has contaminated his boiler, so I want to find a replacement to carry the flying kipper tonight, said the fact controller. I'm afraid I can't, sir, said Daisy. My engine was overheating and I almost broke down and it would take a long time to fix it. Daisy just pretended to be sick so she wouldn't have to carry the flying kipper. Okay then, Joshua will be bringing the flying kipper tonight, said the fat controller. But sir, said Joshua, I already have my own jobs carrying the mail train tonight. You can do both at once tonight said the fat controller. It was already morning, but Joshua still hasn't finished his work. He still had to deliver the flying kipper. After he delivered the mail train, Joshua met Thomas, who was shunting into trucks. Hey Joshua, called Thomas. You don't usually work so early in the morning before. You don't understand, Thomas, said Joshua. Henry was ill, so I had to carry the flying kipper and the mail train in the same night. I didn't even have time to get back to the sheds to sleep and it was be all because of that diesel rail car. And why did you help me carry the mail train last night, Thomas? I'm sorry, Joshua, he said. Last night I was going to the main line to bring special parts for Percy. Then Joshua saw all the trucks that Thomas was pushing. Where are you going to take those trucks? Joshua asked. I will not take these carriages, Thomas answered. Toby will take it to Halsborough. I'll just shunt over to his trucks for him. Then Joshua had an idea to play trick on Daisy. That afternoon, Joshua went to the brick station, carrying Toby's livestock. There he found Daisy, who was busy with her makeup. Joshua tried to attach the livestock to Daisy, then suddenly he accidentally buffed the livestock too hard. But because she was too busy with her makeup, she didn't realize it. When Joshua leaves, Daisy was ready to go to Osborne to take passengers there. And once again, she didn't realize that there was a truck behind. Daisy arrived at the Asper Harbor. Duck is also there. Hello, Daisy, called Duck. Are you going to bring the bull today? B -b 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 bull? said Daisy. I don't know what you mean, Duck. Well, look behind you. Daisy was confused and looked back. Daisy was surprised. But how can it not be? Then next to Daisy there was a worker and an old sailor carrying the bull. The sailor looked at Daisy. Hello, madam, called the sailor. Are you the one who signed to carry this bull? That's great. Put all the bulls into the cars right now, the sailor shouted. Daisy was so upset. The trucks laugh and sing. Ho ho ho, he he he, very rare instance. Daisy the rail car trying to be a very useful normal engine. Shut up, fair! Snapped Daisy. I can't believe this is happening! She said. 
AZ return after dropping off the trucks in the afternoon. Toby stopped to rang his bell. Hi, Daisy. Call called Toby. I don't know how my trucks ended up with you, but thanks to you, I could finish my other jobs quickly. But Daisy is still upset after what happened. Don't worry, Daisy, added Toby. The fact controller will also see you carry those trucks and he will give you special jobs. Special job? Daisy asked. What? Spot? Free advertisements with giant balloons, Toby answered. They are waiting at the circus. Oh, said Daisy. Bother! Joshua saw everything and laughed. Is there anything funny, Joshua? Edward asked. No, no, nothing funny, Joshua answered. He didn't want Edward to know that he, the one who caused Daisy to deliver mail last night and do dirty work. And he also didn't want the fat controller or anyone else to know about this. Silly Joshua.